So what we're going to tie next here is a uh, surf perch fly. Um, no name for it yet. Something I threw together. Um, going to start with your favorite saltwater hook, about a size two or one, whatever you like. And go down to fours or sixes even. Um, UTC fluorescent fire orange. This is the color for the thread, and I'm going to lay a pretty good base here. Drop a zappa gap on here just to get the eyes to stick. This really will help you uh, keep your eyes on top of your fly. I'm going to land some bead chain and gold, leaving a little bit of space up near the eye because we're going to tie a little overwing on this. Just doing a little crossing pattern here, and then come around it, figure eight again, around it, and then wrap on back. The tail on this is, uh, Hairline has a new product out called uh, Baitfish Emulator and they have this really cool hot orange and surf perch love hot orange so I'm just going to take a little chunk of this tease it out to kind of make it uneven in the back tie that in for a tail So there's the tail. Next we're going to use some cactus chenille in a large root beer. I'm going to tie that in. And this is your body. It gives it a little crabby color. What I like to do with this uh, cactus chenille is kind of brush it back each wrap. It kind of packs the body a little more and gives it a little more symmetry. This has a really nice color to it and it all has a little uh, pearl flash in it as well. Tie that off. You've got a dry fly hackle at your house, I'm sure. You've got a little grizzly. Go clear up in the back in those feathers that you hardly ever use, the big webby ones. Pull that out. I'm going to tie this collar style. Get that tied in. When you tie this, if you stand all your hackles out and then pull them back, you can get that to lay back in that collar style that you want. And I really tie this fairly thick. That way it pulsates a little bit. That's where a rotary vise will come in handy. Get this flipper over. And then some medium brown craft fur. Stuff really moves in the water. Cut a chunk of that out. Now this has several different lengths in it. So what I normally do is grab up high, get some of the under hair out, grab up at the base there, grab up here and pull those long fibers out, even them out with the rest, and there's my wing. So I'm going to lay that so it just extends past the bend of the hook, and to keep the head small, I just cut that all even. Lay it in place, and you've got to have it good and even. Lay that in place, get a loose wrap, snug it down. Don't be afraid to put a good orange head on there. That color standing out really seems to help. I've got my wing in place. Grab my whip finish tool. Snug that down. Put a drop of glue on there and we're good to go.